Okay, we have Ian's headphones here. And we're supposed to replace the pivot, the right pivot. And so the thing we need to do here is this. Pads will be also used again. So we'll set them aside. And Gotta take the four screws out, because, yeah. It sounds bad, it's just my plastic flap. Okay, for some reason. This doesn't like, his screws are not real metal. They are, but it just sounds like that. For some reason, this is not magnetizing. It's weird. Usually they come on. He will reuse his own screws and bolts. I already have the pivot out. It's beautiful. case it's questioned there we go beautiful that's the uh collar i don't know what you call it it's actually a pivot it's a, it's a swivel pivot whatever piece this is going to go pretty fast so i don't have a lot of time don't have a lot of time let me pull this out because when you flip these over like that sometimes it'll break that uh, over heat temperature socket right off so we unplug the strip harness and you take and unplug the power then you take and unplug the harness like so and you take the screws out of the board like so His screws are not real magnetic. I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. I have never had screws I couldn't pick up with this. It's really odd. I'm going to take these two screws out. Move the harness over a little bit. Take the two hold down screws for the hanger. Ouch. Again, I don't know what's going on with this. For some reason, I can't get any magnets out of these. It's really odd. That one did. Kinda. There we go. And you just you push this up, up against the flat side, pull the other side out, and pull the harness out around the board. Set the headphone aside. Flip it back over. Take off your locking mount. Take I guess I could probably turn the light on make it easier to see. O-ring off, pop these loose, I don't know what the heck that is, some kind of foreign debris, that's some kind of foreign debris, pull that piece off, actually take the harness loose, take your screws out of your pivot, pivot mechanism, lock, whatever you call it. Take the screws aside. Um, 
Move that piece aside. Take the broken one off. And the difference is this one's broken, actually broken, split, and separated. So it's garbage. Person could probably glue it back together if they wanted to, but it's not worth bothering with. So we throw it in the in the trash. And then we take a look at the uh, actual axle or the shaft and make sure that it's okay. Doesn't have any scars, no cracks in it. Yeah, looks beautiful. Nothing wrong with it, actually. We take the new one. Put the new one on. Slide it up in there. Turn it till it locks in. Take your handy dandy metal strip, metal lock. Slide it in place, just like so. Bada boom, bada bing. Did I just say that? You take this, set it back in place. I've done enough of these that probably would make most people go insane. But, yeah. There we go. Now we're getting some magnetism. Put the harness back in. Always put the bottom in first because that's where it actually shows you where it goes. That way you don't get a different length. It does make it harder to put it back in place if you do. You just stick it back in there where it's supposed to go. Take your handy dandy cover, which is got a adhesive film on it. Start from the bottom and work your way up and then snap it into place. Boom, just like so. And you take your locking device back and put that back flat side first, goes through with the harness. And you got to put the O-ring back on first. Like so. You take and put that back in. Grab your handy dandy headphone cup. Turn it over. Make sure your lock's on. Good. Slide it underneath your harness. Slide it down into position. Like so. Take your two screws. Put your two screws back in. screws go back in here just like so you can see that harness goes underneath like so and make sure you lock your harness down into your plastic first slide it up under and then you put your board back into position get your harness for the overheat temp sensor back out of the way put your screws back in for the board and with this handy little electric screwdriver it's nice to go down to stop and then give it a little bit more like that Plug your uh, strip back in. Push your harness down in behind like it's supposed to be. Plug your harness back in. Like so. Take your power and plug it back in. 
Run it back in the same posi position. Put your harness down into the lock. Take your cover, your strip, your harness, your uh, ribbon cable, whatever you want to call it. And I take my thumb and use my thumb to do this, guide it into position, like so. And then I push down with my thumb, slide it right in. Done. Turn it back over. Grab your four screws. Maybe if this thing will have some good magnetism. There we go. And I don't see any problem with anything else on here. It doesn't look like anything is leaking as far as the mic goes. When the mics go bad, these are the mics in the center right here. When they go bad, they leak oil around. There's a little silicone cover over it. And you'd be able to tell that. I don't check the other side unless they ask me to because I've got other things to do besides these. But Ian, your headphones will be fixed. And I'll see if they charge and all that good stuff too, just to make sure. A little extra on, on the screws, not too much, just a little bit. Maybe an eighth to a quarter of a turn. And that's it. And of course, they got a little bit of film on them for some reason. Probably hand grease, oil on hands. So I take some cleaner and clean them off a little bit. And the pivot's back to the way it's supposed to be, just like it's supposed to. Just like new. We take this handy dandy little pad and we stick it back in here, like so. I don't adhesive them, it doesn't make any difference one way or the other. And yeah, if you wanted new pads, those are about 20 bucks. Well, 15 to 20, depending where you get them from, what kind you get. That's that. Let me test them to so make sure they're okay. Battery's about 80%. Beautiful. Ian, your headphones are done. Ta-da!